Greetings, unsettled souls. Go! Welcome to the correct views. Friends, I want you to check this out real quick, if you would. Wasn't I the first one of the first people that mentioned to you that hey, why why are we trusting Snopes? I mean, why? It's some guy, his wife and their cat. I think she left. And again, that's not something I'm in favor of. Uh, I, I personally think we need to live in a world where marriage counselor offices are full and divorce court lawyer offices are barren. That's what we need to see. That's what I support. But just the same, why, why did the whole world assume that these three people, right, called the cat a person, they're he, roughly the most intelligent of the three, um, why should these two left-leaning people, mind you, and that can be proven. Why should they be looked at as these this paragon of truth? For looking up, and this is what they did. They would go online and they would look up sources. And let's say they were talking about the corona vaccine. They will find doctors who they support. YouTube does this too. They'll find doctors who they support and who are reputable. And that will be what they call the facts. When there are other doctors who are just as reputable and who have maybe more credentials and maybe more experience in that area, but it goes against what they want to portray as the truth. So they will call something that is at best not cut and dry, not black and white, as something that is. They're famous for that. So whatever sources they put up, people were calling true, and somehow this was this was thought to be beneficial and accurate. And I've been saying for a long time, it doesn't make any sense. Anybody can do that. Anybody at all can do that. You find your favorite source, and that's the one you pick to call true. There were countless instances where they were not true. Well, now, I've been saying for a long time, I've seen this work in other places. It's it, it's bunk. It's bunk journalism. Bam. BuzzFeed. Hardly a right-leaning outlet. The co-founder of Snopes wrote dozens of plagiarized articles for the fact-checking site. Quote, you can always take an existing article and rewrite it, rewrite it just enough to avoid copyright infringement. David Milkison, the co-founder of the Supposed fact-checking website Snopes has long presented himself as the arbiter of truth online, the bulwark in the fight against rumors and fake news, of which he's very bad at. But he has been lying to the site's tens of millions of readers. A BuzzFeed news investigation has found that between 2015 and 2019, Milkelson wrote and published dozens of articles containing material plagiarized from news outlets such as The Guardian and The LA Times. You mean too far left leaning website? You you must be kidding. Left leaning websites? Would you imagine? Not the New York Post? No, no, no. Doesn't say New York Post. After inquiries from BuzzFeed News, Snopes conducted an internal review and confirmed that under a pseudonym, the Snopes byline, and his own name. Milkerson wrote and published 54 articles with plagiarized materials. The articles included such topics as same-sex marriage licenses and the death of musician David Bowie. Now, I think it's interesting when you look at these, you find that much of the complaining here is that there's plagiarized work. Not that the work is left-leaning and biased, and not that it many times is anything but factual. That is a problem. That's a problem. Okay. It's kind of like I heard recently a last call from the, uh, the uh, uh, Muslim. It's Islamic, but the Nation of Islam. Louis Farrakhan has come out against uh, vaccine injections. And uh, everyone's attacking him for it. And it reminds me of what we're seeing here in that whenever someone breaks from the left in any way, they are wildly attacked, wildly attacked. And when that can't happen, the left oftentimes starts eating their own. 
which you have seen with Cuomo, and now you're seeing it with David Nicholson. My point is, the biggest problem here, it was twofold, is one, that this is an extremely left-leaning person who used biased information and presented them as facts, and he's not being called out for that. He's being called out for stealing someone else's work. The other major problem here is the fact that whatever go through this site tends to be what fact checkers use when they censor legitimate work. And again, LA Times, The Guardian. Left, if you're not part of the liberal social establishment, you are not considered factual, even though you can prove that they are wrong. You're listening to The Correct Views. Thank you so much. Please hit share. Please hit subscribe. Please support Opera News. And you can help me at the correct views of hotmail.com through PayPal. Good night, friends. God bless.